What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what I eat in a day, but it is a special version of it because it is what I ate to start prepping for Hawaii. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, then you wouldn't know that Caleb and I just planned a trip to Hawaii. We're going to Kauai in April and we're so, so excited. We, neither of us have ever been to Hawaii before. It's like my top bucket list location. One of those places where I was like, oh, I'd love to go there someday, but I never thought I ever actually would. So like, I cannot stop thinking about it. I'm so excited. And we're obviously going to be doing a lot of hiking, a lot of active stuff because we're going to Kauai, so we're not going to like Oahu or anywhere where it's more like city life. We want to be in nature and all of that, so we want to make sure we are feeling and looking our best. If you guys have been following me since the beginning, you know that a few years ago I was definitely eating way more raw foods, a lot more healthy, oil-free, um, gluten-free. Not to say that now I don't eat healthy and that like there's anything wrong with the way I eat now, but I definitely don't feel as good now as I used to. I just am way more lethargic, like I don't have any energy to do anything. I'm pretty much either at work or I'm watching TV or making videos. Like I don't do anything active really. And Caleb and I have been talking about getting a gym membership, so there's just a lot of things that we've been wanting to change in our life that going to Hawaii is a really good excuse to kind of get motivated and get back into it because neither of us have been you know very active or eating very healthy or paying much attention to our lifestyle so today is the first day of me really paying attention to what I'm eating this is not me trying to lose weight I'll just put that disclaimer out there I'm I don't need to lose weight I'm not trying to lose weight I'm trying to eat healthier so I can feel better and get in shape so I don't die on these hikes up the mountains of Kauai <laughs> so the main things really that I wanted to change is just to eat more whole foods. I've been eating a lot of like chips and my like frozen pizzas and we've been eating out a lot and like mac and cheese, not like homemade mac and cheese, like the box day of mac and cheese and stuff. So we really want to just stop doing that, like no more fake meats. We just really want to eat more whole plant-based foods. I also want to go back to eating... Uh, oil free oil does not make me feel good the only time I eat oil is when I eat a packaged snack or something like that I never cook with oil just because I don't like it it doesn't make me feel good but because I'm trying to eat healthier all around I'm not going to eat as much packaged snacks anymore and therefore I will go back to a more oil free diet and I also want to focus more about on being gluten free because I do have a gluten sensitivity and it does bother me when I eat it. I just haven't been very cautious about it lately and I've just kind of dealt with the consequences. It's different when I eat sprouted grains. So you guys know that I love like the Alvarado Street Bakery sprouted bagels, which I eat one in this video. Sprouted grains don't bother me. They're way better for you. They're easier to digest and absorb in your body, all the nutrients. In terms of eating just regular gluten and stuff, I really want to cut that out just to make me feel better. Hopefully to help my skin because I've definitely been having a lot of skin problems lately as well. I'll stop rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's just get into what I ate. So I've been starting most of my mornings with one of these core wellness ginger shots. They're made with like coconut water, lemon, ginger, cayenne, all kinds of good stuff. They're a really great way to kickstart your digestion and just like make you feel healthy, you know. Then I decided to have a smoothie for breakfast. I had one of these daily harvest cups in my freezer, so I decided to put that in with some milk, adamia mi milk, some Hawaiian spirulina, some plant-based protein powder, some blueberries, and some bananas, and I just blended that all up and somehow managed to make the perfect amount to fit in this mason jar it really was quite impressive um, but the smoothie was super good it was really really nutritious it filled me up for a long time I can't eat smoothies like I used to actually I used to be able to just chug two full mason jars like this and my body's just not used to all the fiber anymore so it took me about an hour to slip this down but it was really really good then for lunch I had some leftovers the night before Caleb and I had made kind of Buddha bowls and I just put my leftovers in this container. So there's a ton of quinoa in there, some tempeh that I cooked in coconut aminos and I also put some more coconut aminos on top of this. And then we sauteed just a bunch of vegetables like corn, carrots, zucchini. I don't really remember what else is in there, but it was really, really good. Then for dinner, I had a bagel. Like I said, the Alvarado Street Bakery ingredients are really, really good. And I topped it with some of my homemade cashew cream cheese, which is completely oil-free and really great. And then some of the Suzy Seitan. This is also oil-free, really clean, clean ingredients, locally made, and a really great source, source of protein. 
And then I had to add my seasoning, the Everything Bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's and Nooch. And that is what I ate for dinner and it was absolutely delicious. I love this combination of bagel. It is so good. And that is everything I ate today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've been to Kauai and if you have any suggestions for us. I asked you guys on Instagram and I got a lot of good suggestions and then Obviously, like, I plan things. I'm a planner for sure. I make all kinds of lists, so I have all kinds of ideas and plans and everything that we're going to do each day that we're there. So, yeah, I'm so excited to take you guys along with our trip and take you guys along with us prepping for our trip. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!